Today's video is sponsored by Boxu, and I will talk about them a little bit later. Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. So today we are going to be testing out a gadget I found at the thrift store. And it is this. This is the Monsieur Crepe Electric Crepe Maker by Sunbeam. I found this at Savers and I paid $13.49 for this. And it has certainly seen better days. This is the original box. And from its packaging, it looks to be late 70s, early 80s, but pretty much everything is in here. So I already opened this and it comes with a pan, a recipe booklet, which I really appreciate. A lot of appliances these days do not include a thorough recipe book and this one does. And what I appreciate is there, there are thorough instructions in here on how to use it properly, lots of illustrations and it includes recipes. Look at the table of contents. Recipes that are specific for this machine. I'm gonna be making the basic dessert crepe today, but you could also make a fiesta dinner. You can make an Italian dinner, Polynesian dinner. See, you can have your own theme party here. I mean, look. Ta-da! All with this crepe maker. What else is in here? Okay, so here is the appliance itself and this is what it is it's basically just a heating unit this gets hot and it has temperature control there thermostat a plug and oh i even have the original piece of paper that stuck to the bottom of this pan and then i have a handle now we're just going to insert the handle in here I think we are. Do we have to assemble this? Come on now, really? Oh my. So we do have to assemble this a little bit. I'm using a spoon to affix my handle to my pan. Okay, we are assembled. We have the pan. So this pan is reversible. You can use this to cook an omelet, but you can use this side, which we'll be using to cook the crepe. Isn't this interesting? We're gonna be dipping this pan into the batter and cooking on the bottom of this pan, or in this case, the top. So that's basically it for the machine. Now let us make the batter. I'm gonna be using the basic dessert crepe recipe that's included in this pamphlet, but it also includes entree crepes as well. Crepes, crepes, crepes. Crepes? Crepes? <laughs> so in my bowl, we're gonna combine all the wet ingredients first. So I've got some milk, I've got some water, butter, that was melted, but so chilly it's solidified a bit. Salt, sugar, a little bit of vanilla, loop, and four eggs. Now we're gonna mix this. Wow. I always forget how chuchy this machine is. <laughs> we're gonna blend this all together until it's nice and homogenous. That's low speed. The low speed on this is a bit much in my opinion, except when you're beating egg whites. Okay. Now that our wet ingredients are combined, we are now gonna slowly add our flour. Here we go. All right, that was very easy. And this is our batter, and it says if there are a few lumps, that's fine. I thought lumps were okay, but lumps are not okay. So it says if there are lumps present, which I definitely have, it says pass it through a strainer. So here we go. I think that's butter actually. So I'm gonna pass it through my strainer because we have to have butter in our recipe. 
Oh my gosh. Tis the season to blow leaves. Can you hear this leaf blower? Okay, so we've strained our mixture. We can use this batter right away, but preferably we let this rest for an hour so that the flour can completely absorb all that yummy milk and water. So we're gonna come back in an hour after this has rested. So while my batter is resting, let me tell you a little bit more about Boksu. So Boksu delivers an authentic taste of Japan right to your doorstep, including snacks, teas, tea pairings, and sweets. It is so much fun. The first box you get is called Seasons of Japan and is right here. And this particular box, the theme is the four seasons and then snacks to represent each season. So I lived in Japan for a couple years and my favorite way to learn about the culture was to eat it. And there's so many wonderful things to eat ranging from small snacks to treats to sweets to beverages and of course main dishes and boksu is a wonderful way to get a little slice of that right at your doorstep so in this box we have little biscuit snacks white strawberries a packet of green tea oh look at this one so sweet Ooh, let's try these these look delicious let's give those a taste and here's what a snack looks like it's got some nori seaweed on one side and then some crispy bits on the other. All right, let's give that a taste. Eat the lucky mouse. Mmm, great big crunch. Mmm, briny, seafoody flavor. Kind of akin to a shrimp snack if you've ever had one of those. Uh, but unlike shrimp snacks, this has a firmer, crisper crunch to it rather than kind of an airy bite. So good. Salty and just a little bit sweet, but seaweedy and tangy. Fantastic. So if you'd like to try Boxu out for yourself or give it as a gift for a friend and support my channel, click the link down below and use my code to receive $15 off your first box. Big thanks to Boxu for supporting my channel and for allowing me to make better videos for all of you. So the batter has rested for an hour and I've placed it in a nine, 10 inch cake pan. For the Monsieur Crepe, we're gonna turn it to crepe. On the crepe setting and this is the pan that we've got here so I'm preheating my pan it says to preheat it on the crepe setting for four minutes so we're doing that I have my batter and I cannot wait to dip this this seems like such an odd thing to do to cook on the bottom of the pan and to be dipping it not pouring the batter into the pan now when we dip this we're supposed to just dip it in about a quarter of an inch in an even layer and kind of tilt the pan so that it coats it evenly. Okay, I think we're almost there. Okay, four minutes. I'm gonna dip it in here. Whoa, that's so weird. We swirl it. And then let it drain. Whoa, look at that. It says if there's holes to dip it again. and let it drain. I still have holes, so I'm gonna dip it again. I don't want holes on my crib. Okay, and then let it drain. Look at that. So weird. And then once it's drained, we put it onto this. I still have tiny holes though. Why do I have tiny holes? Oh my gosh. It's already lifting off. Okay, this is awesome. So it's really easy to tell when the crepe is done because it'll be dry on top. And then you can just lift it off the edge. Not quite. Oh my gosh, it's totally not sticking. Great. Wow. I got it on the handle a little bit, so it's sticking right there, but not anywhere else. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, plate. Oh, let me actually put it on the cake stand. Okay, I'm gonna flip it onto this cake stand so you can see the results. Yes, so perfect. Look, do 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 do, brilliant. Look at that, cooked to perfection. Okay, let's make another one. And I thought this was gonna have holes in it based on my dipping, but there's no holes in that at all. That's perfect. All right, let's make another one. Dipsy, swirl, and then allow the excess to drip. Okay, that one stuck better. 
That one is better in terms of not having too many holes. Okay, this is great. I've never made crepes like this before. Wow. There is a little bit of metal that's not coated with Teflon right where the handle is, like right here. So I think it's important not to dip that part into the batter because that's what I did the first time a little bit and it stuck just a tad right there. And then we just take this and we invert it on top of this one and then it should just slide off and it does. <sighs> Look at that! Perfect! Perfect crepe! Perfect! Oh my goodness this machine works great! Okay let's do this again. I'm a crepe making machine or it's it, it's a crepe making machine okay dip again so this other side of the pan can be used just like you would use a frying pan you can make these other things if you flip the pan over and use it like a skillet but i like this these crepes are great you can tell when it's ready when the surface the top surface is no longer shiny and everything kind of goes matte and the edges start to get golden Okay, this one is ready. Flip onto here, and then you can just remove it. Yep, use a material that won't burn. Oh, that one tore a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so this one was the thinnest one, and that one tore just a little bit, but still looking pretty great. Okay, one more. Dip it twice and cook. Okay, so since I made the dessert batter, I'm going to fill these with Nutella to have a nice little sweet tasty bit, but you can fill these with all kinds of things. Whipped cream, fresh fruit comes to mind. You can make a crepe Suzette, which I believe you flambe it with a little bit of rum and some orange juice. I mean, or you can make them savory and fill them with all kinds of savory yummies. Okay, this one's ready. Flip and release. Beautiful. Alrighty, so let's fill up one of these crepes. Take a crepe and I'm going to fill it with a little Nutella. I love this Nutella. We get this at our favorite little Italian sandwich shop, but I believe this is the Italian version. So you get this great glass. So after we're done with the Nutella, we clean this out and then we use these to drink out of. Cute, right? Take some of that gorgeousness. Yo. Spread it in the middle like that. And then we're gonna roll this up. I probably should put that spread there, but that's okay. Roll it up, roll it up. Boom, beautiful. Already, let's give our beautiful chocolatey confection a taste. <laughs> so easy and so fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Itadakimasu. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mmm. Full of sweet cocoa hazelnutty goodness. The crepe is wonderful. It has a nice little chew to it, but it's soft and tender. Slightly sweet, vanilla. Mmm. And tender. Fantastic. So good. I'm just gonna try it by itself. Mmm. The edges are nice, really thin, slightly crispy, a little bit like an egg roll wrapper, just slightly on the edges, but slightly, slightly sweet, a little bit eggy. Fantastic. Take good care of this. Don't allow this to get scratched so you can keep the non-stick surface because the crepes came right off of this thing. Didn't have any problems sticking a little bit on the edge, but just with a little gentle coaxing, it came right off. And it worked exactly as the pamphlet said exact amount of time everything and I really appreciate like I said earlier that this includes a recipe book so I can use this for all kinds of different meals not just breakfast writing my lovelies there you have it the vintage sunbeam crepe maker works like a charm thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Boxu for sponsoring this video if you'd like to try Boxu for yourself or give it as a gift and support my channel click the link down below and use my code to receive $15 off your first order Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care.
Where are you? I can't see you.